What's up, my comic community? My name's Cullen, and I collect comics. And today is Friday. It's June 2nd. And uh, we're going to start with uh, Detective Comics. Uh, we're going to look at my uh, books from my uh, local comic shop, The Comic Strip. It's in Bro on Broadway in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, right across from the old Esquire Theater. You should definitely check it out if you're in the town. But like I said, we're going with Detective Comics, starting it off. And this is issue... Number 1072. It's got an Evan Cagle cover like he's been doing for a while. Dan Wa uh, Dan Waters and Ram V are the writers for this. And uh, Stefano Raffaelli and uh, Evan Rays and uh, Danny Meekie are the uh, artists for these. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, next we've got, uh, we'll go ahead and, st uh, Batman arrives at the new orphan ground, Orgum Grounds, which is used to be the ruins of Arkham Asylum, to investigate the Orgums, to uh, investigate what the Orgums have been hiding directly underneath the land that is, that ties Gotham to the family centuries back, including the existence of Batman. Then, in the backup, Gordon investigates the reason Sorrow can't be near Batman. And they find out the difficult way. Alright. Next. Which, I should have some uh, coming from the sh from uh, other sources also. Some more covers of this. But this is that Power Girl special. With that uh, Margaret Savage cover. And, uh... We've got, uh... Oh, uh, the artist for this also is uh, Margetti Savage and uh, Natasha Bustos. And then we've got Joanne Starr and Leah Williams writing this. And like I said, this is the Power Girl special. Power Girl takes center stage with new powers and a new mission. Power Girl faces a challenge unlike any she's expected before its shocking one-shot rising from the events of Lazarus Planets or Lazarus Planet and Action Comics. With Omen's guidance, Power Girl now strives to battle the demons literal and figurative lurking in the minds of some of the greatest superheroes in the DC Universe. But the nefarious Johnny Sorrows has been searching for connection to Earth-O and the superheroine's work may be unwillingly give him the means to make that world his personal stage. Can Power Girl and her estranged super family bring down the curtain and Sorrow's evil plans? And at what cost? All right, this definitely looks interesting. I usually like Power Girl stuff. Uh, I'm definitely excited for this. Next, we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 26. And this is... Of course, one of the shocking uh, books of the week. Uh, spoiler ahead, because everyone knows it's coming. This is the death of Kamal Khan. Miss Marvel's dying in this book. Crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, we got a JRJR cover, John Ramada Jr. Uh, I'm sure that the pencils are probably John Ramada Jr. Yes, they are. With Scott Hanna Inkin, of course, and Zeb Wells writing. And, of course, we have this Amazing Spider-Man number 26 of Volume 6. Now fully in the present, the Emissary has returned, and his new powers are so far beyond Spider-Man's abilities, the heroes may figure out a way to win. But the cost of victory will be immense that you may hope they don't. All right, so yeah, really saddens me, huh? There she is right there. I've also got some of the spoiler variants for this coming. Next, we've got Edge of the Spider-Verse Volume 3. We've got issue number 2. And this is the origin and first appearance of Sky Spider. Has a beautiful cover by Patrick Brown with uh, the spinstress. And uh, the artist for this is... Uh, wow! Luciano Vesicchio... And uh, Marika Caresta. I love Luciano Vasicio. Like, her stuff's great. Or his stuff. Is it Luciano? I'm not sure if... 
I think it was Johnson Mail. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, well, they're amazing. And uh, let's see, we've got the... Uh, here's the title for or the... Uh, oh, uh, I hate whenever I get uh, messed up and I can't uh, think of uh, the right word. But the uh, plot explanation is... The spinstress sings her way into the biggest fight of her life. All right. I love me some spinstress. She's such a cool, like, the Disney princess version of a spider. Almost in a weird way. She just looks awesome, too. But next, the, my final book of the week. I didn't have a huge week. This is X-Men 23 or X X23 Deadly Genesis number 3. It's got a cool cover by uh Come on Andronovsky and uh yeah, uh looks like it's going to definitely be interesting. Uh Let's see. Oh. Erica Schultz is the writer for this. The artist for this is Edgar Salazar and Let's see, uh, Chimera's master plan. Chimera once commanded X-23 for the facility. Now she's back to pull some strings once again. But what is her master plan and how will X-23 go save the innocent people caught in her nemesis scheme? Plus a face-off with X-23's new adversary and shocking and a shocking twist. All right, so yeah, it wasn't a huge week for me, but uh, that's the books I picked up. Uh, I'm going to get off here. Hit like and subscribe if you want. i uh, like to find out what you guys are reading, too. Always uh, feel free to write in the comments. But thanks a lot once again. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.